In addition to the primary function of sending note and gate CV signals to synths and samplers in the reason rack, the matrix pattern sequencer can also be used as a programmable modulation source, which provides the basis of a lot of pattern-based combinator patches. This is typically achieved by connecting the curve CV output to one of these modulation inputs. For example, I'll, I'll connect the curve CV to the oscillator pitch input here. Now on the front programming panel, we'll switch the matrix to curve edit mode and you'll see that the note grid disappears and we now have 16 segments where I can program different values. And so let me play this quickly. We have a fairly steady pad sound here. And when I run the matrix pattern sequencer, we're gonna to start to hear a pitch modulation. Now next to the input sockets, we have a trim knob, which actually scales the amount of the modulation. A zero value means that there's no modulation. Let me demonstrate that. And as I increase this trim value, you can hear the pitch modulation slowly increase. So one of the more common modulation routings is to take the curve CV and have that modulate the filter cutoff. Now I have a little sequence pre-programmed to the combinator, and when I press play, we'll hear this matrix curve pattern modulating the filter cutoff frequency. <laughs> Another common modulation routing for a pattern-based sound module is to take the curve CV and route that to the amp level. We'll take the uh, trim and set that to maximum. Then on the programmer, you know, I'll just make this a very short pattern, four steps, and I'm going to increase the resolution to 30 second notes. Press run. We'll hear this master level parameter being opened and closed by the matrix pattern. And of course, you can change the resolution to a slower rate. So the matrix curve CV actually has two modes selectable by the switch on the back panel. Unipolar mode, which means it'll send only positive signals, and bipolar mode, which means it'll send both positive and negative signals. And now when we look at the front, you will see that there is a zero crossing line. And any segments that are above that zero crossing are positive and any segments below it are negative. So then when I connect this curve CV to, we'll connect it back to the filter one frequency and start playing notes, you'll hear the filter both open and close. <laughs> So the matrix curve CV really becomes a powerful tool for creating any kind of rhythmic element to a sound patch. So one of the things you'll notice is that there is a limitation to the number of modulation routings you can make with merely using CV cables. However, we could take this curve CV and route that up to one of the combinator rotary inputs. Then in the combinator programmer, we can assign the rotary to a much wider range of parameters. For instance, a cool one to do is oscillator one wave. And then I'll reassign uh, the second programming row to rotary one. We'll assign that to oscillator two wave. 
Because this is a unipolar curve, I'm going to set rotary 1 to a value of 0, and I'll just leave it. I'm not going to touch it. And then when I press run on the matrix pattern sequencer, you'll see the curve CV affecting the oscillator waveforms. And so when I play this, you'll hear the waveforms changing on a rhythmic pattern. So these are some of the fundamental ways of using these pattern sequencers in a combinator patch. You shouldn't limit yourself to just one, though. You can easily add several instances of matrix pattern sequencers and have them control multiple parameters. Switch that one to bipolar. I'll take this third one, and I will have that modulate oscillator phase. We'll tab back to the front, and I'll do a different curve there. Another handy trick is Command or Control R to randomize. I can change that to 32 steps. Randomize that. I'll take rotary one again, and I'll do another assignment. Let's have that modulate oscillator one octave. And I'll change the range from about three to six. And then up here, let's create another instance of a matrix. Take the curve CV and have that modulate the phaser uh, frequency. So this combinator was originally just a very basic static synthesizer with effects patch, and then adding these matrix pattern sequencers and modulating the different parameters within the combinator has turned it into a more interesting rhythmic-based combinator patch.